Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky, and today we're getting all junk journal y and messy. So, this is my junk journal. If you don't know what a junk journal is, it's basically a, a, an art journal made out of all different papers that a lot of the time people would consider junk. I am in the process, sneaky little preview, of filming a junk journal class, so stay tuned for that in the new year. So first up here, I'm working on a piece, I think it's a piece of normal paper, on the, like printer paper, or the back of, maybe it's the back of a pamphlet. Uh, and then the other side is actually a gift bag. So the, the gold side is foiled and it's very, very thick. So I decide that I want to use this girl uh, mask stencil that you would have seen earlier on. And I'm kind of slapping down some paint because the great thing about these junk journals is that because they are made of junky papers, you don't feel that, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? That, that, that scaredness of starting a blank page because a lot of the time there's already something already on there. There is a word for that. I've it's, it's vacated my brain right now. So I'm going through and I'm using my dilutions paints just to do some big blocks of color and then I'm adding some stenciling detail on the top. And I know that um, the roundabouts where the mask will be. So some of this will be covered up, but I'm kind of guessing where the where the stencil is going to show the paint through. I have those stickers, those circle little stickers left over from some teaching supplies that I brought home last year. Uh, and they're great for art journaling backgrounds. So if you're ever in a cheap shop, pick up a, a cheap dollar, two dollar pack of uh, colored dots because you can use them in art journal backgrounds. Now I'm using, I think this is some Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper stuff. And I'm using my matte gel medium uh, to stick it down. I do hope in the future to do an art journaling class that's all about uh, the different mediums and what you can use them for but i use matte gel medium basically as a as a glue these are some ring re um, some reinforcers that's what they're called uh, for binders like if you put paper in a binder uh, and i'm i don't really need to use them plus they've got those little circles in the center that are technically rubbish but I'm using them as a background piece because you'd never know that they were meant to be rubbish. I decided I needed a bit of more of a spark. I needed a bit more brightness. So I'm grabbing my, I think it's a Dina Wakely um, tool thingy and it's made out of a silicon, it's got a silicon end on it. And I'm just doing some mark making. I'm just splattering some paint on. Um, a lot of that side bit gets covered up, but it just adds a little extra bit and everyone can do a little splatter everyone can do a little splat wiping off the excess because I know that part will be black and I'm wondering what else to do before I add my black mask I started to do some splatters because you know what why not um, a good splat is always helpful for an art page I think kind of makes the page so now it's time to get messy and I've dried it. I've, I've dried it with my heat gun because some of those purple bits were quite chunky with paint and I've got my mask and all I'm going to do is use a blending tool uh, which is by Ranger. Yes, <laughs> Ranger have them and I'm just going to really gently, very gently so I don't move the mask, uh, add the black around the outside and the effect I freaking love I do this all the time I actually do this a lot of the time not on camera I think I've got about six pages that look like this but I, I don't think I film a lot of them um, I tend to do pages like this when I'm feeling a little bit like I need a pick-me-up um, I, I have severe anxiety and it's quite nice to look at this image that has the black in the background and then like a bright happy person image in the center if that makes sense any sense at all um and look at that it's so effective i'm just using my paintbrush now because that blending tool couldn't get into the crack of my page properly so i'm just using my paintbrush just to kind of blend the paint out a little bit more and i love that she kind of reminds me of a 1950s housewife the the way that her hair is i have a feeling this is a big 12 by 12 stencil from uh, could be Julie Fafan Bowser, I think, maybe. 
possibly. Um, I don't have the packaging for it anymore, so I'm not certain about that, but I think it could be. These two little words are left over. They're quite old from Dear Lizzie. And I decide, you know what, whenever I film videos, I always decide to do complicated things. So I decided to whip out the embossing powders because when you're on a, when you're on a short time frame, being able to uh, film a video between baby naps, why not grab the complicated embossing powders? So I decided to go for a gold and a lilac and then I arm and ah, uh, look at, I arm and ah uh, for so long. I did pause it for a little moment um, while I decided. So I'm thinking, oh, gold, oh, purple. Which one should I do? And then for a while I was even thinking the turquoise, but I didn't want to bring that in. So I decided, Del, just make it easy and go half, half. So I'm sticking with the uh, purple, the lilac up the top for the stay. And I'm just pressing it into my Versamark, which is like a sticky ink. It's not really an ink. It's just stickiness. So you put it into the stickiness and the powder sticks to wherever the stickiness is. Shake off the excess. You don't need this blue thing if you're new to embossing. Um, it's just a handy tool to catch all the, the excess powder, but you can just do it with a, a piece of printer paper and I'm using a paintbrush just to neaten up the edges and get all of that powder where it's supposed to be and then I'm using my heat tool I tend to point my heat tool away for just about 30 seconds before putting it on because that way it's nice and hot and it's ready to emboss and I'm putting it over the powder and it kind of melts it and makes it all glossy and beautiful and delicious and a little bit shiny and then I put my finger in the A ah and so I have to very gently re-stick it in the stickiness of the Versamark and then re-powder it and re-emboss it. But the good thing is because it is melty, it's, it's you can't tell where I accidentally stuffed it up. But top tip, don't stick your fingers straight in your embossing powder after it's done. There's a, if you take away anything from this video, take away that top tip. So now it's time to do the same thing to the gold and I'm just pressing it in very gently. You do get sticky fingers a little bit when doing this and you've got to make sure that you get all of the bits that you want, like those little bits that were hanging off then. And then I realized that that would probably be an easier way how to do it. Grab my gold. I really want a thick, chunky, glittery gold because this gold is a little bit too muted for my liking. I want a really in your face gold, like my gold glitter background that I have for Inky Quill. So if you know any brands of a really chunky um, embossing powder, let me know because here in Australia, Spotlight, which is our local like craft store, like Michael's Hobby Lobby type thing. It's basically the only craft store. Um, I think they only have this brand, Zing, I think it's Zing possibly. And I haven't seen a chunky gold one there. Or if I have, it's been in a pack of like 40 embossing powders and I can't buy 40 embossing. I don't have a need for 40 embossing powders. Um, so let me know if there's a brand that you know of that has a nice chunky one. I think it'd be nice for some Christmassy stuff. So now I'm going to attach this somehow and I was going to staple it, but the previous side has already been done, which is a page that you will see. I decided I was going to do the other one first and upload it first, but I like this one too much. So I've decided to do this one this week and then you'll see the other one in the next couple of weeks. I was, I am denied about what type of doily to put behind it. I just felt like it needed something to help it kind of stand out. I'm using my tacky glue to glue it down because I'm lazy and I don't really want to use double sided tape to tape down all of those little pieces or a doily because sometimes the double sided tape roll like my ATG rips the doilies. So tacky sticky glue it is. It's always good when you're feeling a bit lazy. Sticking that down and now the bee daring I was kind of tossing up where to put it but I did end up putting it in that top bit so you can see it contrasting on the black and I absolutely love how it looks. I just I just really like this page and I like this size too. Um, it's not too big. I can get one of this has been sped up double time so I can get a layout done in half an hour it's a good amount of time for me because, um, of course, I'm crafting in between Archie having a sleep and he usually only naps for 40 minutes. 
<laughs> which is great. Um, so we're battling the the extended naps this week um, while I'm recording this voiceover because his top two teeth are coming through. Um, and when he's teething really badly like this, uh, naps go out the window, even though they would help him. So then to make my girl pop, I decide to outline, outline her with my Uniball Signo Broad. I think it's the broad one. It's the thicker one of the two. And I think this makes the page. I, I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. If I, had, if I had outlined it in black, obviously it wouldn't have made any impact because it was on black. Um, but I just think the white and leaving that little tiny gap between the color and then the black and then the white pen I think made all the difference it's definitely something I'm going to do again and then I decided to do something very very stupid and time consuming again I only have a short amount of time to film I decided to do dashed lines around all of these letters on this word so I do after a while realize that you don't want to watch all of that um, and I do cut it out in a moment and fast forward so voila we're all done you can't even see it so then it's time to do a bit of a doodly border and I'm just using my Stadler pigment liners which I'm surprised aren't dead because I do abuse them a lot over painted services I should wait for stuff to dry a bit longer please wait at home don't be impatient like me but I have these videos to film and I kind of have to get stuff done I'm the type of person that needs to get things done in one sitting I can't do an art journal page and do the background one day and then add some collage pieces another day and then go back and add a focal image another day and then add some doodling five days later I just can't work that way and I know it works for a lot of people go you we're all different we all work different ways but I just can't which is why I abuse all of my pens and why sometimes I go through a few more pens than the average human being so I decide to jazz this side up a little bit more and I add some of my little sprinkles I've got some little hearts and stars and dots and plus signs and all sorts of little little bits and pieces and I just I just love this page so much I really do then I decided hey we need some more tiny details on the other word so I grabbed my Posca black paint pen and I'm kind of just doing what I would usually do in white to add some light highlight to uh, topography I'm doing it in black which I've never done before then to my little tiny word stickers I used my all pencil my Stablio Stabilo Stabilo that's how you say it Stabilo all pencil which is a black um, watercolory kind of pencil goes on lots and lots of surfaces and it just adds a little bit of a shadow and jazz fingers means I'm all done I'm stuck to my paper but I'm all finished so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really does help my little channel grow um, and it helps me stay at home and create free content for you guys over here on YouTube as well as on my patreon uh, which is always linked in the description below if you want more information on that I do lots and lots of extra videos and printables over there um, but this page is all done and I, I just I love I love it I love it all right guys have a lovely week and I'll see you all next time bye